to my YouTube channel. So today's topic for the video is fitness and health. So there are various other parameters with fitness. It's not just exercise or gymnastics. That is gym. Uh, gym. Exercise and gym are a part of fitness. Maintaining the fitness. There are acrobatics as well. There are certain sports. There is weightlifting as well. There are certain functional training exercises that you call FTE. So today in the video we will be discussing the same. And here you can see the different types of physical activities the diagram represents. Uh, that are responsible for your core strength, your aerobics, your metabolism, your flexibility, endurance, agility, motility, etc. Like uh, you have different sports and different activities, rock climbing, push-ups, surfing, volleyball, gymnastics, goa, stretching, flexibility, soccer, bicycle riding, hiking, swimming, housework, etc. And also besides this, you have a lot of activities that we'll be discussing and covering ahead in the video. So firstly, the gym. Uh, there are certain equipments and certain instruments via which you perform certain exercises. There is treadmill, there is dumbbells, there, uh, there is push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, bench press. There is a gym ball that you also call as an exercise ball. So it is, uh, these all are the advantages of the gym ball. It's basically useful for the neutral spine position. So those who are pro those people who have problem of L4, L5 are definitely uh, going to be a little more careful with this exercise. But yes, if you want a neutral spine position, if you want a proper, uh, no, if you do not want a horse lump in the spine, this exercise is a very good option for you. Also, it helps in maintaining proper body posture, increases the lumbar mobility. That is one of the uh, spinal nerves. Increases the abdominal and back muscle strength, increases the Im increases the balance and stability, develops overall control and strength of the core body. So the core is very strong. Here you can see different equipments: electrical trainers, stationary bike, treadmills, step mills, stationary machines. Then there is a parallel bar, leg press machine, bench press, dipping bars, barbell bench, dumbbells. Smith machine, machine bench, hammer strength machine, adductor machine. So yeah, there is two moments that is abduction and adduction. These uh, moments can be like flexion and extension for biceps and triceps. Similarly, there is abduction and adduction as well in your body, human anatomy and physiology. So basically, these are all of the gym, uh, uh, mostly the advantages and these, all of these equipment are of useful, are of very much use to us. The next up we have is FIT. What does the word FIT stands for? Frequency, intensity and the time. So the gym should be in control or else there are certain chances of cardiac arrest, heart failure and certain other mishaps that can occur due to this. So here you can see intensity is can be low moderate or vigorous frequency can be number of days per week or how many times in a day uh, or how many times in a month time the minutes per session if it's uh, if it's two times a day so how many hours per session is it one hour is it half an hour so that is what is important for governing the actual body strength here you can see some of the core advantages so basically it helps in um, Preventing the osteoporosis, which is the bone uh, and the cal decalcification occurs, the bones become very weak. Also, obesity could be reduced. The problem of high blood pressure and hypertension could be reduced. The happy hormone in the body, the dopamine, is released so that you feel a little more euphoric, a little more energetic, and it calms your body as well. And the levels of serotonin can be maintained as well. It's so overall, just not your physical health, but also your mental and social health can be managed via this process of gymnastics. Again, you have muscle growth, you have metabolism. These are the advantages. So cardiovascular, heart diseases, coronary diseases, diabetes, obesity, all of them can be reduced consecutively. So here you can see that uh, this image uh, depicts hypertension can be reduced, anxiety, depression, heart failure. COPD, that is chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, type 2 diabetes mellitus, ischemic heart diseases. Basically, ischemia is decreasing the oxygen supply and inability of the heart to pump. Uh, osteoarthritis, inflammation of the bones, of the joints, etc. 
all of these can be controlled. So exercises can be either isotonic, isokinetic or isometric. Isotonic is basically dynamic moments with a constant load. Isokinetic is basically constant velocity with a variable load. And isometric is basically muscle contraction that is static without any muscle change. Here you can see some of the added advantages. It also helps in uh, preventive decognition or it promotes cognitive memory. Lowers 30% risk of dementia and pre-senile dementia that is Alzheimer. And other neurodegenerative disorders of course. Improves the sleep. So a sleep wake cycle, your melatonin cycle can be controlled. And uh, improves the energy level of course. That is one of the major thing. Strengthens the bones and muscles. Reduces the risk of cardiovascular disorders. Lowers the risk of type 2 diabetes. And helps to control the weight. And the next is acrobatics basically. It has a certain strength, flexibility techniques, spatial awareness techniques. And it helps to promote proper posture and coordination. So basically in acrobatics you have martial arts. Martial arts may taekwondo. You have the jiu jitsu, kickboxing, karate and MMA of course kendo. These are the different uh, jiu jitsu art forms. And what are the advantages? Increases the flexibility, strength, coordination, stability. Develops more focus. Improves the reflexes. Weight loss. Increases improved cardiovascular diseases uh, so the improved chances against resistance to cardiovascular diseases basically and increases the confidence level of course because if you're fit if you're mentally very very lean and stable so you will feel of course a little more confident and presentable in front of everybody so basically martial arts is an amalgamation of mind body and the spirit mind is basically memory retention confidence self-control problem solving ability adaptation Body is basically balance, flexibility, muscle tone, endurance. Spirit is basically patience, respect, integrity, humility and perseverance. So of course these all of them are important. Uh, this is an, a very important side that I found. Um, it is of uh, consisting of the different advantages of the physical therapy and the exercises. And here this is an article. You can refer this article, just type this name. So you, there are plenty number of advantages that you can see. So during the research of uh, for making this video, I just found this article and I found it very fascinating. So basically it helps in relaxation of the contracted muscles, tendons, ligaments, fascias. So basically it, uh, bone to the connections between bone to bone, bone to a muscles, they become even more stronger and so that your flexibility, your movements are quite um, very, very easy poised. It uh, also has a positive impact. Um, upon the anxiety so basically it helps in reduction of anxiety depression sleeplessness fatigue lethargy and also in pregnant women it is said to be very very important to have some exercises that is why pregnant women have separate exercises to be done during the pregnancy stage and it of course has a very very dynamic role in the cognitive health because it has a result on the hippocampus the prefrontal cortex area of the brain that are responsible for your for performance, for your cognition, etc. The next up we have is the different types of therapies uh, associated with like if you are doing gymnastics, of course, that's great and gym. But uh, besides that, the hydrotherapy equipment like there are tanks, bath, chairs, electrotherapy. So the short, uh, short wave medical diathermy, muscle stimulator, interfacial therapy unit, ultrasound therapy unit transcutaneous nerve stimulation and transcutaneous nerve stimulation, uh, stimulation basically uh, through your cutaneous layer of your skin skin has different layers stratum corneum basale epidermis endodermis uh, fatty layer subcutaneous layer etc so basically there is small electro on uh, electro uh, negative uh, electronegative uh, current that is passed through or a stimulation type that is passed through Heat and cold therapy, of course, they are also very, very important. Like there are paraffin wax, bath, uh, bath, moist heat therapy unit, moist heat therapy unit, streams, infrared lamps. There are certain treatment equipments like massage cum, treatment table, high-low mat platforms. There are yoga mats as available, tilt table. There are certain mattresses that are acupuncture, acupressure based. So these mattresses and there are shoes as well. There are so many things that are made for acupressure. There are pens. There are shoes, there are mattresses, etc. So, multi-exercise uh, therapy unit is useful. 
suspension unit is useful and there are certain mobility aids so basically your meditation yoga power yoga aerial acts reiki acro yoga all of them can be uh, a source of your fitness not just exercises but your meditation for your mental health for your psychological emotional health power yoga aerials aerials is basically using ropes and uh, you uh, using certain props ring aerial rings you get you get aerial bars there are so many different uh, aerial props massaging is of course one of the most important parameter for curative and palliative purpose there are certain mobility aids aids as well uh, suspension units of course aerobics and endurance conditioning and reconditioning agility training body mechanics training breathing exercises coordination exercises these are some of the important exercises that are um, essential and the different motor uh, motor of these exercises either it can be for, for neuromuscular or for other purposes so that's all for today's video i hope you all did enjoy it thank you so much for watching it kindly do let me know your precious feedback in the comment section